practice time to the hour and half hour, lesson 9.9. .9. And if you haven't seen lessons 9.6, 9.7, and 9.8 first, you might become lost or confused, and there's links in this description so you can watch them. When the hour hand points to a number, we can draw or write the time to the hour. If the time is o'clock, we can draw or write time to the hour. This has the minute hand pointing to the 12, and the hour hand is pointing to the 2. We know because the hour hand is pointing to the 2 that it's 2 o'clock. We see that this is minute hand is pointing to the 12. We can write it as 2 with a colon and a 0, 0, or 2 o'clock. This time is 3 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the 3. The minute hand is straight up pointing to the 12. We can write it with a 3 and a colon and a 0, 0, or 3 o'clock. When the minute hand points to the 6, we can draw or write time to the half hour. And when the minutes are 30, we can draw or write time to the half hour. Now we can see the hour hand is moved in between the 2 and the 3, and the minute hand is pointing to the 6. The hour hand points between that hour, the 2, and the next hour, 3. It's not 3 yet. So it's still 2. This is half past 2. We can write half past 2 with a colon and a 0, 0 for half past 2 o'clock. Or we can write 2 with a colon and a 3, 0 for the 30 minutes that it went around the clock clockwise. This time is half past 7 or 7.30. It's 30 minutes past the hour of 7. And the hour hand is in between the 7 and the 8. The minute hand is pointing to the 6. So which clock shows 11.30? Do you know? Can you look at the hour hand and the minute hand and tell which clock is showing the time 11.30? Remember, if it's pointing at the 12, it's o'clock. So it's not this one. This one is pointing to the 6. And that means half past. That means 11.30, doesn't it? So we're going to fill in this one. Which clock shows 7 o'clock? Is it this one or is it this one? The hour hand points to the hour and the correct number. If you said this one, you're right. It's pointing to the 7. The minute hand is pointing to the 12. It's 7 o'clock. So we fill in this bubble. Which clock shows 1230? Now we have a choice of three. Do you know which clock shows 1230? The minute hand should be on the 6, so we know it's not this one. This one has the hour hand pointing to the 6. So it's this one or this one. 12.30. That would be half past 12, wouldn't it? That means it's not 1 yet. So it's not this one because this hour hand is past the 1. If you said this one, you're right. So we're going to fill in the bubble for this one. The hour hand just passed the 12, and the minute hand is pointing to the 6. It shows 12.30. Which clock shows half past 5? Well, half past means it's half past the hour. All the minute hands are pointing to the 6, but which one shows half past 5? If it's half past five, that means the hour hand should be past the five. And this one's not past the five yet, so it's not this one. This one has the hour hand past the six, so it's not this one. It's this one. If you said this one, you got it right. 
the hour hand just past the five and the minute hand is pointing to the six for half past. So we'll fill in this bubble. That's 5.30 or half past five. Now we need to draw the minute hand in the correct place and write the time in the box. We just have an hour hand, but we did this in lesson 9.6. When the hour hand is pointing directly at a number, then it's that number's o'clock. It's pointing at the five, so this is five o'clock. We can draw the minute hand. It would point to the 12, wouldn't it? A little bit crooked, but it's pointing to the 12. And we write five o'clock. We write a five and a zero, zero. Five o'clock. What about this one? Can you tell which time this is pointing to? The hour hand is in between the five and the six. So it's not five o'clock anymore. It's half past, isn't it? That means the minute hand is going to point straight down at the six. And what time would that be? It's not at six yet for the hour hand. It just passed the five, so it's still the hour of five. And the minutes pointing to the six would be 30 for a half hour. What about this one? Can you tell what time this one shows? The hour hand is pointing directly at the nine. When the hour hand points directly at the number, it's the o'clock, isn't it? So this would be nine o'clock and we would put our minute hand going straight up to the 12. And we can write nine o'clock, nine and a zero, zero. Nine o'clock. Let's try another one. What time is this one showing? The hour hand is pointing directly at the 11. It must be o'clock. We're going to draw our minute hand going straight up to the 12. And we can write 11 o'clock. 11 with a zero, zero. Can you tell what time this one's showing? It's not pointing directly at a number, is it? The hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9. When the hour hand is in between numbers, it's half past. So we know the minutes are going to be 30 because it's half past. Can you tell what hour we would put? It just passed the 8. It hasn't gotten to the 9 yet, so it's still 8. It's 8.30. How about this one? Where's this hour hand pointing? It's in between the one and the two. It went past the one, it's not at the two yet. So it's still in the hour of one. And because it's in between two numbers, it must be half past. So we can draw our minute hand coming down. We forgot our minute hand on this one, didn't we? Yeah, even I make mistakes. That's 8.30. So this one would be 1.30, wouldn't it? There we go. Now we've got them all correct. We've got all our times correct. Now take a look at this clock. There's something wrong with this clock. Someone wrote 3 o'clock. Does this show 3 o'clock? Well, the hour hand is pointing to the 12. For 3 o'clock, the hour hand should be pointing to the 3, shouldn't it? So does this, this clock show 3 o'clock? No. If it was 3 o'clock, the hour hand would be pointing to the 3, and the minute hand would be pointing to the 12. This one has the hands in the wrong place. See? The hour hand should be pointing to the 3, and the minute hand should be pointing to the 12. Emma walked her dog for a half hour. How many minutes did she walk her dog? Was it 60 minutes, 5 minutes, or 30 minutes? Do you remember how long a half hour is? 
Do you remember how many minutes are in a half hour? Remember, one hour is 60 minutes. A half hour is 30 minutes. 30 plus 30 is 60. Three tens plus three tens makes six tens. See, 30 plus 30 is equal to 60. So if two 30s make a 60 and it's cut in half, that means half of the 60 is a 30. So half an hour is 30 minutes. So how long did Emma walk her dog? She walked her dog for a half hour. It was 30 minutes. I bet the dog was happy. My dogs love to go for walks. So that's the end of our lessons for grade one math for telling time. We're gonna talk about how to read picture graphs next in lesson 10.1. We'll be in a new chapter. And if you want more information and more video lessons about telling time, to the seconds with a second hand and to the minute and quarter past and quarter two. There'll be links to my grade two math chapter seven videos in this description. Okay, Lola's sneezing. Are you sneezing? Are you sneezing? Yeah, you are. Okay, so that's the end of chapter nine. Practice telling time with the hour hand and remember the minute hand's gonna point to the 12 when it's o'clock. It's gonna point to the six when it's half past or the minutes are 30, all right? And I'll see you next video. Bye.